On Bake News today, Abby and I are going to be doing a sausage roll crawl around Glossop. We have a list of recommended places to visit and we're going to try and get to as many as we can today that are within walking distance. We're sorry if we don't go to your favourite. And of course, it is the middle of July. We've had this planned for ages and it's the first time it's rained in weeks. Before I meet up with Caitlin, I'm heading to Hollingworth Bakery. I'm going to go pick up a sausage roll from Hadfield Bakery. First sausage roll acquired from Hollingworth Bakery. I'm going to keep hold of this till I meet Caitlin later on and we'll try it then. All right, I got myself a Hadfield Bakery sausage roll and also this pizza thing because I'm starving and I can't wait for Abby. I found her, here she is. And I brought sausage rolls. Well, you wouldn't be allowed on the video if you had it. <laughs> First up, we've got Hollingworth Bakery's offering and they said this was small, so they gave us two, but I'm pretty sure they're pretty big, right? This is a big to me. <laughs> here we go. Also, delicious. Mm. It's a little bit cold because we bought these an hour ago, but I mean, that is really good. Great sausage, really buttery pastry, which I like. Yeah, no, I'm a fan. This is good. Next up, we have Hadfield Bakery. And I've got to say, Abby and I grew up this one, so there might be a tiny bit of bias. They're so soft. What I like about this one is the pastry isn't really super flaky, so you don't make a big mess, but it's still really, really tasty. That's true, it is a much softer pastry. And again, great sausage, and this one's a bit thicker, I think. Very, very tasty. And it's cold, but it's still good. I have spat pastry everywhere. I've got much pastries on my hand. <laughs> so we've got a sausage roll now from Metrix, which is a butcher's, but they do sausage rolls and pies and all things like that. It's so flaky. They've just gone everywhere. Oh no, <laughs> it's in my eye. <laughs> it's in my eye. This one's a safety hazard. It's good though. This one's on the top now. It is really, really good, the sausage in this one. Mm. It was really high quality, which I guess we should expect from a, a top-notch butcher's like Metrics. Mm. But the pastry is definitely chaotic. Also, check out my sausage roll utility <laughs> belt. Next up, it wouldn't really be a sausage roll competition without an addition from Greg's. So we've got Greg's classic sausage roll. I just bit the paper, but... <laughs> the pastry is good, but the sausage is definitely smaller, like... There's more gap between the sausage and the pastry than the others. And I don't think it's as flavoursome. The last two we had were really no. herby. It's a bit this better is... than I remembered, but nothing special. No, I, d I don't think it's the best so far. Sorry, Gregs. We also thought we'd try the vegan sausage roll. As you can see, both the pastry and the sausage are a bit paler, but I've never tried this before, so let's see. I was very sceptical. It's not bad. I mean, I don't think it tastes anything really like a sausage roll. It tastes a bit more like a cheese and onion roll. It does taste like a cheese and onion roll. But, mm. you know what? The pastry's less messy than on the regular sausage roll. Yeah, you know what? It, it It's not a sausage roll, but it's it's nice. It's yeah. edible. It's, yeah. it's actually more flavoursome than the yeah. regular sausage one. So we tried a couple of other places that were recommended to us, but unfortunately they either weren't open or out of sausage rolls. So here's our final one from the bread shop in Victoria Street. Oh, I just got pastry then. <laughs> it's really good. It's very soft again, and the pastry mm. is less flaky, and I think that's a preference of mine. Um, and there's a lot more sausage to pastry ratio in this one. Yeah, and actually it's really like, the sausage is really herby. It's really quite nice. And yeah, it's soft, but it is flaky. So I quite like this one. And also it was definitely the biggest. It was huge. So we've come to the end of our sausage roll crawl for today. And we've decided to each to give an award for best sausage, best pastry, and then best overall sausage roll. So for me, the best sausage was from Metrix, which as it's a butcher's, I guess should be to be expected, but I really did enjoy that one. And they do do great sausages anyway. Uh, the best pastry for me was the bread shop. It was really soft and it didn't make a lot of mess. But the best overall was Hadfield Bakery. That is my favorite sausage roll of all times and I would happily eat one of those every day for the rest of my life. You can. Yay! So, which were your favourites, Caitlin? I think my favourite sausage was Hadfield Bakery. Good choice. It was a really, like, big sausage that filled out the pastry, really herby and delicious. Then I think my favourite pastry was Hollingworth, just because it was, like, flaky and buttery, but 
wasn't a safety hazard. It didn't make a massive mess. Exactly. <laughs> it made a bit of a mess, but we can handle that. And then I think my overall was actually also Hollingworth Bakery. It was a really good pastry and a really good sausage. Herbie, nice and thick, filled out the pastry. So that was my choice, but honestly, I would eat any of those. Yeah, again. and we know we didn't get to every possible sausage roll place in Glossop and the surrounding areas today. So let us know if there's anywhere else we should try and we could do this again. Yeah, I'm up for it. I've got really bad pastry parts. <laughs> <laughs>